and now pour them out. Making my babies proud, wanna cop my mama a house. Coming straight out the south, got enough juice to end the trap. They love their crab cakes and they love their football. That's what Maryland does. And we are at M&T Bank Stadium down near the Inner Harbor of Baltimore. Here's a scene a short time ago. The Ravens introduced to this sellout crowd and through a sea of pyrotechnics, out they came from the tunnel. We're set to go as the Ravens get ready to match up with the Dallas Cowboys. The bye weeks are over. It's all about football all the time as we're underway here in week 13. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Calais Campbell on the stop. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the... In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Derek Wolf popping in for the sack. Well, it was second long, now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Prescott to throw it. Cooper's got it. He's at the 50, 30, the 20, 10, touchdown, Cowboys. Amari Cooper, 92 yards, and the Cowboys have taken the early lead. Yeah, I think it's safe to say we won't call many touchdown passes longer than that this year, partner. No, I would agree with that totally. And right now, you're looking at an offensive coordinator. Conservative would not go next to his name. Risk taker, definitely, because he valued the opportunity to create a big play against what could have been disaster if they end up getting sacked or fumbling the ball in the shadow of their own goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. At their own 21-yard line. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 21. this up to the 34-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Well, I can certainly tell my age, partner, because when I was a kid, running backs like J.K. Dobbins with over 2,000 yards in their final season in college, they went early in the draft. Instead, he somehow lasted until the second round. But how great is it to get a guy with that ability who can run it inside, run to the perimeter, and catch the football in the backfield, and be able to get him in the second round? That's what I call a steal. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. 33-yard line. Time Jackson will throw it. This is complete to Watkins on the slam. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 12 yards there and a first down. Barney, you know when we call a game, we talk about Lamar Jackson and his speed and his elusiveness and the ability to get him on the ground, how tough that is for a defense. But how about his development as a thrower, as a professional? On first and 10, it's Dobbins. 
And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. So back-to-back -back big runs picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. When they've needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. On first down, Dobbins. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. First carry now for Gus Edwards. He gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. This defense against the run, by the way, they're not top five, but they are top ten. So what's your philosophy here? Do you try and run the ball against a team that's pretty good against the run? What if you're a pretty good running team? If so... You might want to go ahead and run it anyway because that's your strength. This Cowboy defense looked ready for that third down pass. Brings up fourth. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. So on fourth down, here's the Ravens Pro Bowl kicker, Justin Tucker, out onto the field. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Tucker's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So, yes, it's only three, but at least they're able to answer back after giving up the touchdown to start the game. Yeah, I like the observation there because getting some points on the board, very positive for them. Feel a little bit better about things because if you don't score, you potentially have opened the door for them to score again, and then you're down 14. At their own 25-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. So from the 36 now, first and 10. <laughs> They keep on the ground with Elliott. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. From the 38, Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. Give them five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, pick out the plays that work best for you, and you know what else you're looking for? It's a, who are the freshest guys coming off of the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early in offense. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. But just a simple tap pass, but it pays off in a big way. And sometimes the simple stuff causes the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and it looks like he's going in motion, Someone either has to go with him or he has to be passed off to another defender. Somehow, they didn't get that communicated well, and it turned into a nice play. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. It's a game of they went counter there offensively, and a couple of the defenders were on skates for a second. They certainly were, and you know what offensive linemen love about the counters and the misdirections? Sometimes you don't even have to block the defender. He can run himself out of the play if he doesn't read his keys properly. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. At the 29-yard line. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now Pollard. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. 
All right, Brandon, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Third down. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Seven, Ravens, three. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Elliott. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. But he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going. And really, the offensive line not helping him much. Cowboys trot out Greg Zerline from the left hash. This from 39. And Zerline's kick is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. 25-yard line. Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left more football. early in November, uh, but they would be a wild card team. And that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also isn't much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, well, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs, so they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling. And he goes down. It's a sack. They get him back at his own three-yard line. Well, if an offense is going to throw the ball in this part of the field, any pass rusher will tell you that's his favorite part. Gets a chance to get after the quarterback. It's almost like a reverse red zone. They can create points using their defense, and this time they take their man down. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Now a leaping catch. He's got it. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. 19 yards is the pick up there, but even with that, they're well short. It's fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Sam Cook to punt it away. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. Call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. At their own 38. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had a field goal last time and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, try to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking. And I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Prescott. And that will be incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. 
He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. So that'll be marked down as a 19-yard punt. And the Ravens, they'll take over. 38-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Dobbins running out of the gun. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football. In that situation, that's almost a tendency breaker. Out to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. That's caught inside the 20. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That goes for a gain of 31. 10 at the 16-yard line. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Jackson. That's complete to his running back, J.K. Dobbins. No gain on the screen there. It's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Looking to throw again on second down. Jackson toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. He was looking for Watkins that time, but now it'll be third down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. On third down, Jackson flushed out right. He can run for it, and he will. And he's going to have a first down on a gain of about 10, and that'll take us to the two-minute warning. First it's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. Randy Gregory in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year to try again after the sack. Jackson, and this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Jackson from the shotgun. And the throw there going to be incomplete. That's a good job there creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. Tucker on for the field goal. A 34-yard attempt. And Tucker's kick right there. It's good. And that'll bring him back within four. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. This will make it into the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. 
you can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. He'll buy some time right on the run. He'll let this go deep right side. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Michael Gallup, that's who he was looking for. And it's third down. But that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. And he can't hang on to it. Nearly picked. He's known for his hands defensively. But instead, it just brings up fourth down. Here's Brian Anger now. As he'll punt it away for the second time. So possession goes over here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Jackson and that one will fall incomplete pass. In clock here now just under 30 seconds to go in this first half it's now the Notre Dame man Jalen Smith able to get a hand in and knock it away an incomplete pass on that last play and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down Jackson he's going to keep it himself and he'll be taken down well before the first at about the 36-yard line. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. As the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Here's Sam Cook now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Pulled in at the 24. And he'll be out right at the 35. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Eluding the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, and it's second down. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Final play of the half, Prescott. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Ravens set to receive the football trailing here as we resume action in the third quarter. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And we've got a penalty marker down here as he's able to get this only to the 20-yard line. Well, that holding call set him up with not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. But that field position after the return wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 from back at their own 10-yard line. 
And from the shotgun, he'll throw. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. The throw here to Andrews, the tight end. And they'll get him down right at around the 11-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Jackson now on third down. Looking left side, Andrews with it complete. And he'll only get this to the 14 as he'll come up well short of the first down. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Here's Sam Cook now as he's on to punt for Baltimore. He'll take it at the 42. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. An excellent return that time, 26 yards. And the Cowboys are going to take over in great position here with a first and 10. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll try and get the running game going with Elliott. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I think it's pretty evident. We can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. Two yards the loss and now third and 12 and it's third down so time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long throwing Prescott and that's going to be incomplete the contact there enough to jar that ball free and it brings up fourth down they certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. Dak and the offense still out there. They are going to go for it. Prescott on fourth down. And that is going to be incomplete. The Cowboys here unable to convert on fourth down. And the Ravens are going to get the football back. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. The last couple of drives have ended in punts. Maybe the crowd minds that, but you're a defensive guy. You're okay with a couple of punt drives. Listen, I'm the guy that loves a 0-0 pitch game. All right, in baseball, I can handle that going into the seventh inning. I think the crowd, though, they want to see a little bit more excitement. Let's see if someone can break something free on offense and get going. Offense at a premium the last two drives. From the 41, Jackson escaping the pressure right. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, throwing back across his body. Picked up by Devontae Casey. And they finally put an end to this return, but not before he's all the way down to the 37. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. 38-yard line. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Six down, six, six down. 
And he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. Receiver, the ball carrier. And a lot of times, these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. Great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. This is Elliott. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Prescott to throw on four. And this is caught. Amari Cooper. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. And he puts it through. Makes the score Cowboys 17. Ravens 6. Greg Zerline. To now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Now a deep ball there on second down but it'll wind up incomplete Sammy Watkins the intended receiver but now it's third down you get the sense that they're saying we're not playing up to what we're capable of and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off near the 42. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. First and 10 and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. Now Elliott. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. Big Calais Campbell fighting through to make the play in the backfield. 47-yard line. Three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. They go to Elliott again. And once again, they stop him behind the line. Great job by this Ravens defense. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Scott now from the 50. Flush to his right. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. A six Working with a second and four. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second down and four. They'll run with Elliott. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. They know that old expression, it's not my night. 
it hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. The Cowboys on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and four. Again, it's Elliott. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up the fourth down. But forget knowing where the first down line was. This defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front. And a lot of times that is one-on-one. -on -one. If you win your one-on-ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. They have more people to the football and snuffed out the play. Fourth down, Prescott. Flushed out right. That's complete, right around the eighth. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven yard line. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. Now Elliott, and he is in. Oh, Elliott gonna be hit, he coughs it up, loose football. When you talk about a battle being won in the trenches, that touchdown right there, a lot of credit to the offensive lineman. Yeah, when you watch them surge across the front, they really created great space for the runner to get in. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. Greg Zerline to kick off fourth down. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Takes this about five yards deep. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. At their own 19-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. On third down, Jackson. And this is caught by Watkins. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. With that catch, he goes over 100 yards receiving on the night. Now Jackson on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Oh, and for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. Picked up by Leighton Van Der Esch. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. At the 44-yard line. Another carry tonight for the workhorse Elliott. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he'll get nothing out of that one. No gain there, and it's going to bring up a third down. Usually the offense has an answer to anything a defense throws at them, including a safety valve, and that's what they did on that play. They went there, but the defense still made an excellent play and held them to no gain. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. It's a gain of six on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Here's Prescott. 
And able to catch it, but he's out of bounds. And the throw took him beyond the sideline, and that's going to be a turnover on downs. So they were really trying to put the nail in the coffin there already with this lead here in the fourth, but they didn't get it. Guaranteed, it's not going to be a fun handshake in the postgame, right? <laughs> you just know that there's going to be some bad blood there. And I know if we go to the postgame press conferences, the, the winning coach, you know what he's going to say, why he did it? We need the points, okay? Because you never know at the end of the year if points are going to come into the tiebreaker if we're trying to get into the playoffs. That's always the standard justification. From the 40 now on second down, Jackson. He'll find Dobbins out of the backfield. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. Jackson, draw play to Dobbins. And he's got this one across midfield in the Cowboy territory. He's across midfield. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Brings up second and seven. Got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys 41. It'll go as a gain of seven on the play, and it sets up a third and in inches situation. Close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. They'll be marked inches short. No gain on the play. And that's going to lead him to fourth down. They're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They're going for it with Dobbins. Oh, and I think he went backward. He did. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get them the football back. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. They'll try and run some clock now with Elliott. And he'll push his way up to about the 44 here. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. It's second and eight. Well, Prescott here to throw. Over the middle, Amari Cooper. It's complete. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 16 yards, a first down. And uh, he's certainly been a huge factor in this one. He's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. A gain of five brings up second and five. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. To throw is Prescott, rolling to his right. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. It, lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. And this is going to be incomplete. The Cowboys here unable to convert on fourth down. And the Ravens are going to get the football back. 
The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take it? And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty